Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy. This video is about the second property of the compact spaces. And the second property of the compact spaces is that every compact subset of a house dwarf or T2 space is closed. So let's start proving this claim. Initially we have a T2 or a house dwarf space that is represented by X and a compact subset of that Hausdorff space that is A and we have to show that this subset this compact subset is closed and there are many ways to show that A is closed and one of them is to show that its complement is open and we'll use this approach to show that this compact subset of a space X of a T2 space is closed so we know that this whole of the area other than A is its complete. And what is the concept of proving something or some set as an open set is just picking an element from that set because this whole area is a complement and we have to show that this A complement is open. So let's say we have an X here. And the idea behind proving that A complement is open uh, by finding an open set that contains x and is disjoint from the set a so we'll do this so the point x is in a complement and we'll also pick a point y from the set a and because x is a hausdorff space so there must be two open sets that contains x and y and are disjoint from each other so we we'll represent by so the open set that contains x will represent it by u x y and the open set that contains y uh, represented by v y and it is obvious that x and y u x y and v y are disjoint from each other so what we'll do next so now we have a collection of this type uh, if we draw the open sets about each of the element of A are represented by Y. So if there is another open set that contains another element of A and then again and then again. So there must be a collection of open sets. And because it is not necessary of all of the open sets to be in A uh, as in this case. So we'll deal with the, another type of collection that intersect with A for all of the a's in in for all of the y's in a so this must be an open cover for that a because a is a compact subset as this collection is an open cover of a so by the compactness there must be a finite open cover of a as well so this is a finite sub cover of a now that its union must be equals to a now corresponding to each yi we have u x y i because there are also elements in a complement and for each if we pick an element in this set a and for each open set in a we have an open set that contains x and in the a a, a complement so we'll say that so the rough sketch of all of the UXIs will be right here. So we'll suppose that the intersection of all of the such open sets that contains X is, is equal to UX. And we have now an open set that contains an X UX. The only thing that we have to check is now that intersection of UX with A is, is empty or not. So now we'll check the intersection of UX and A. And A is the union of all of the finite subcover of the finite elements of this. So we can write it here that union of, of all of the V, Y, I's and intersection with A. So where I varies from 1 to N. So this whole thing is a subset of where UX intersection with the union of the finitely many open sets from A. Now by the property of the union this thing will be carried outside and will write here so the union varies from 1 to n 
and the intersection of ux with all of the v y i's we know this thing so that's why ux is the intersection of all of the ux y i's as this thing so intersection of each ux with v y i is also empty so we will write here is now it implies that the ux intersection with a is empty and so this thing implies that x is in a complement and ux is a subset of a complement so we'll write the result here so we have u x is a subset of a complement and ux is open that contains x so this thing implies that a is a closed a is closed subset of the t2 space so we have proved that every compact subset of a hausdorff space is closed so this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye